Good morning once again, everyone. I'm Craig Edwards coming to you from the Wave 3 weather office. We've uh, continued to monitor the situation around town. Most of the rain seems to be ending, at least in the downtown area, but the flooding is continuing. I'll bring you up to date on exactly what's happening weather-wise right now. Take a look at the radar with me, and we do have showers still showing up there, but you'll notice that the heavier rains have now moved to the south and to the east of the Louisville area. The lighter showers showing up in the light blue around the Louisville area continue to press on down to the south and the east. So the rain is going to continue at least for the next little while through uh, the southeastern parts of Jefferson County, moving on over to Spencer and Oldham County, Bullitt County, Hardin County, and continuing to press on into the eastern sections of Kentucky. Now we are getting reports in from the eastern sections of the state of severe weather developing as well. And a uh, severe or a tornado watch has actually been posted for the eastern sections of Kentucky down into much of eastern Tennessee that goes on until 7 o'clock in the morning. So they're going to continue watching for severe weather there. In Fayette County around Lexington, the latest reports uh, are that we have considerable tree damage there. Tree, uh, trees and debris blocking many of the roads at uh, Parker's Mill, Allen Lane, and Military Pike. So if you have travel plans, we'll take you into the Lexington area in Fayette County for tomorrow or during the day on Tuesday. It looks like you may have some problems due to some of that debris. Also, there are numbers, a uh, number of evacuations taking place around the area. John Belsky told you a little while ago about the Holiday Inn at Fern Valley Road where water started to leak into a utility room. It was causing problems with the power there. So they've had to shut off the power at the Holiday Inn and they're evacuating everyone from that location. We have uh, also a flood command center that's been set up at 34th and River Park. Uh, they're continuing to monitor situations there. The fire department's been very instrumental in getting out to a number of homes and a number of apartment buildings. They're inspecting them and trying to make sure that people are getting out of those areas that are flooding at this time. The Disaster and Emergency Services Group is calling this a major flooding event in southwestern Jefferson County. Now, I should tell you, we're beginning to get reports from the eastern sections of Jefferson County as well. From Northfield over to St. Matthews, the flooding seems to be moving in that direction now, so if you live in that area, you're not exactly out of the woods either, so keep an eye on any streams in your area that might be rising. Otherwise, let me give you a rundown on some of the streets that you're going to want to avoid. And, and by the way, also, Duval Middle School has been opened up as an evacuation center. That's where many people are being taken at this time who are having to leave their homes. Buses are picking them up and taking them in there. No houses reported underwater at this time. However, around Exley Court, several houses do have at least six inches of rainwater now draining into the living room, so uh, they're leaving those places as well. 45th Street, Virginia, 34th and Young, 35th and Young uh, are all uh, underwater at this time, so uh, passing through those areas is going to be very difficult. Also at 16th and Oak, uh, 3rd and Eastern, 6th and St. Catherine, and 23rd and Howard. All of those locations have water buildup right now, so you'll have a difficult time getting through any of those downtown areas. Now the areas around Valley Station and PRP were getting reports also of water over the roads. Houses apparently not being uh, uh, threatened at this time, but many of the roads are causing a lot of problems. They're getting uh, water buildup on them, and so uh, driving through them can be very difficult. It has been one heck of a night around the uh, Louisville area, and the rain continues to fall. So if you're going to be driving around, please keep it in mind and be very, very careful. We'll have further updates for you coming up at 6 a.m. on Today in Wave Country. We invite you to join us then. Thanks for watching.